Hello everyone, welcome to this Microsoft Excel video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show us how to write an advanced and dynamic formula to deliver or return the top and bottom end products by total. I'm going to use some powerful functions such as the let, sequence, vstack, xlookup, and the large functions. So let's get started. If you've not joined this channel, please click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell icon to be notified of new videos. So let's make sense of our data set. Now I've got three columns data set and this data is officially stored as an Excel table. Now in the table design contextual ribbon tab, I have given data as the table name. So in cell I1, I've got what's called drop down, which is list data validation now in this drop down i've got three five eight and ten i can select the top and bottom three five eight and ten in the formula so without wasting our time let's write our formula in cell e2 so i'm going to start off by typing equal sign let so press the tab key now the let requires a name and value to be assigned to the name and finally we need to give calculation based on the value assigned to the names so for the name one you can actually use whatever you want as your name so i'm going to call my, my top bottom nth comma now for the value i want to assign i'm going to throw in the sequence dynamic array function so the sequence requires row as the main Arguments while the columns start step are optional arguments. So this is going to give us the dynamic part of the formula. So for the rows, I'm going to select the value in cell I1, close the formula, comma. So for the name two, I'm going to call it product, comma. Now for the value I want to assign, I want to assign this product in column B, comma. Now for the name three, I'm going to call it total, and I want to assign this total in column C, right here, then comma. Now for my calculation, which is the fourth here, I'm gonna use the XLOOKUP and the LAT functions here. So let's do that. So I'm gonna type in XLOOKUP. Now, by the way, XLOOKUP is the successor to the old VLOOKUP and the HLOOKUP functions. Now, let me just move my um, guide here. So for the XLOOKUP, I've got to provide the lookup value. Now for the lookup value, since I'm interested in the top end values, I'm going to use the large function. Now the large function requires the array. So for the array, I'm going to throw in the total name defined here, comma. So for the K, I'm going to throw in the top, bottom, end name defined earlier. Press the tab key, close the parentheses for the large comma now for the lookup array i'm going to look up this total so i'm going to type in total defined name comma for the return array i want to return the product based on the selected value in cell i2 so return add i'm going to type in products and then we can close off the x lookup and i can close off the let and when i control enter that's amazing. And the results spilled to the neighboring rows at the bottom. So you can see we have one, two, three, four, five top products based on the total value. Now let's say I want to see the top three. I can come here and let's choose three. So you can see the formula dynamically updated, which is awesome. Now let's say I want to see the top 10. Okay, you can see it automatically spill. That's awesome. Now we're not done. So these are the ghost cells. This is where the formula actually lives. So I'm going to F2 to open the formula. Now we have undo the top. Let's undo the bottom. So, and I'm going to stack the top and bottom on top of each other. And to do that, I'm going to use the VStack new function in Excel. So VStack. Basically, the VStack vertically stacks array into one array. So press the tab key. Now this is going to be the array number one. I'm going to copy this and come carefully here, put in a comma. Now for the array two, I just need a demarcation cell. And to do that, I need double quotes with space in between, put in a comma. Now for the array three, I'm going to copy or paste the same formula and just tweak 
this part of the formula, I'm going to replace the large with small function, and that's all I need to do. So I'm going to type in small, okay, everything remains the same. So I can finally close the VSTAC formula. So close the formula. Now, this is the moment of truth. So when I control enter, that's amazing. You can see I have the top 10 product, and of course, I have the top, I mean, the bottom 10 product. Now, let's come here and let's see. I want to see the top three again. You can see everything works dynamically. This is the top three, this is the bottom three. You want to return the total value based on the top and the bottom end value that we have in column E. So, for this, I'm going to use the powerful xlookup function one more time so equal sign xlookup now the lookup value will be this value so i'm going to select everything and that's going to give me all the value within this range it doesn't matter if it expand or reduces okay comma so for the lookup array i want to look up this list in column b comma and for the return array I want to return the corresponding total close the formula control enter that's amazing. So we can see we have the top, the totals for the top three, and this is the totals for the bottom three. Now you can see we have this NA because there is no value in cell E5. So how do we treat this? I'm going to come back to the top cell and right after this return array, if not found, I want to return nothing. Now, nothing in Excel simply means you write double quotes with space in between, okay, depending on whatever you want. Control enter, you can see that is undo beautifully. Now, let's say you want to see the top five. You can see the formula automatically updates. That's amazing, okay? So, this is the top five. Now, let's come here and sort this our value. Uh, let's sort from largest to smallest. Now, you can see this is the top five. Now, one two three four five so this is the value can you see we have fifteen thousand eight four nine eight thousand one seven five you can see that's awesome now when i control down arrow key you can see we have the bottom five right in here you can see this is the value for the smallest one zero two three three five four four one point zero four 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 point six one you can see we have the same value so this is basically how we can write a robust formula to return both the top and bottom end products by total using this vast arrays of functions i hope you enjoyed this video if you do you can like comment share and above all subscribe to this channel because there is a lot to come thank you and bye for now cheers